Hello and welcome to Hexed Encountered. My name is Joe. Today we'll be playing Lock and Load Tactical Heroes of the Pacific. The mission we will be playing will be Red Beach Red, which is this guy right here. Okay. This was designed by Mark Walker. And this is uh, covering the, uh, the invasion of Tarawa, Basio Atoll. And the description is perhaps the most famous beach assault of the war. The Japanese chose to defend on the water's edge, a choice that cost the Marines as well as the Japanese dearly. The scenario represents the difficulty the Marines had capturing the beach and moving inland. In lock and load tactical time, this scenario covers little more than 45 minutes. In reality, it took the Marines three days to clear Tarawa. All right, so here's our orders of battle for the Marines and for the Japanese. I'm not going to read everything. Um, this is gonna, going to be a tough one. But uh, so we have nine turns. The Japanese will start with initiative. And for victory conditions, the Americans must achieve at least two of the following three objectives. Eliminate all Japanese weapon teams, capture all bunkers, or exit five squads, LVTs, off the south edge of the map. And M4A2s, also known as Sherman tanks, count as two squads. Okay, the Japanese cannot use Banzai. Japanese weapon teams may set up and operate inside bunkers, though this limits their field of fire. AA guns cannot fire on aircraft from a bunker. Many of the American units start the scenario in random positions and take damage checks before the scenario begins. And bunkers with no living units inside do not need to be entered to capture. Controlling the surrounding hex is sufficient. So we are going to play the Marines and the computer will control the Japanese. And let's get it started. Okay, I'm not going to change anything with the default setup. Okay. So let me zoom in a little bit. Taking out damage checks. So if you are unfamiliar with this system, the way it works is you roll against the morale for checking for damage. It has to exceed your morale. Um, there obviously are dice roll modifiers. Um, see that one right there was a plus one damage check on a, and it rolled a six, which became a seven. So that caused a shaken on one of my squads. So basically um, with most of these they're packing a six morale, so they will need a seven to actually shake them. And so far, we've only had one, which is good. Uh, the leadership modifier helped out there. And there's another six. So we have two units shaken now. Okay. So the first phase is always the rally phase. So in the rally phase, you can attempt to rally your shaken uh, units, but um, you need a leader or hero, I believe, to actually do that, and I don't have one. So um, the other thing you can do is disassemble a weapon so that it can be carried. So if you see here, let's zoom in a little bit. We have, um, this is an assault. An assault team. Okay. And then we have a squad and another squad. That's actually this here. If we check this 
This one we have a U.S. Marines assault team. Then we have a, sh a shaken squad. And so you can see when they're shaken, they end up with um, some reduced abilities. They don't have any movement or fire. And then we have a flamethrower and we have an M2. Okay, so if Lieutenant Leckie here was in this hex, he could actually try to rally our squad here, but he is not. So what I need to do is find like the bar, the, the Browning automatic rifle, sorry. Here, I need to unselect that first. So we have a, uh, a Browning here. The Browning, if we look at it, doesn't have, it's not, it's not crude, so it doesn't really need to be disassembled for, for carrying. Here we have another Browning. Let's see if I can find a machine gun. Um, this is a crude machine gun. It comes with a crew, but this is an uncrewed one, so this would need to be manned by one of our units here. So if I select this hex, let me select this one first. Now this is dismantled. Okay, it's it's attached to this unit right here. So this will allow them now to carry it. And this is really what I spend this um, first rally phase doing, is looking at where my machine guns are so I can disassemble them and carry them. And I believe that is all. Yeah. All right, so since we don't have, we have a shaken unit there and a shaken unit here and neither one of them can be rallied. So we are going to continue. Now the Japanese will fire on us, obviously. So you roll here and you see they have a seven to one with their modifiers, um, but they rolled low, which is good because they got a plus six. So, um, we have the choice to use our gung-ho skill, we will use it. Better that than taking a, a wound there. Uh, we still took a wound, see they're rolling pretty high, that's um, that's tough. When they roll high with this, they uh, very exposed on the beach, so getting off the beach is tough. At least this, um, this hex has Lecky in it, which will allow us to uh, rally, hopefully. All right, so let's take uh, Colonel Wiseman's men. Let's see if we can. Uh... So we can take a spotting attempt at them. can fire on them. And no effect. So once you once you use a unit you have to end your impulse. Then the Japanese will do one and then you'll do another one and it goes back and forth. This hex hard. Guys up. Lucky's Hex takes hits again. Oh, that was a no effect. So that was good. Yeah, really 
working these guys over, man. Artillery firing. They got a hit. And uh, so they're going to have a plus four multiplier here. That worked out okay. So that one. Oh. That's right. It needed to be a two. We rolled a six. And we just took casualties. Alright. Not, not good. Right. We need to. possible roll there with a plus six that's great so now he's stuck there until I can get a lead or two on Go in for a melee here. Fantastic.
So much for that plan. That airstrike turned out to be pretty effective. it hard you can't even get your men off the beach
done. I was hoping I'd get the, uh, was hoping I would get the initiative there. All right, I think I'm going to wrap it up for now. So this would be session one. And we will continue with the second session soon. <laughs>